Monday is Veterans Day, and NASCAR is recognizing a veteran from Amarillo during Sunday's race. Her name is Kathy Ice. She served more than a decade in the Army and now works for a company that specializes in disaster relief. ABC 7's Jose Alcala shares her story. After Kathy left the Army, she became a government contractor, but the desire to help people never left, so she decided to join Team Rubicon. The cleanup is nasty and stinky, and but somebody has to do it. and so. Not a better group of people than a bunch of veterans to go in and work together as a team and, and get stuff cleaned up. Kathy has seen the impact of multiple disasters and the support that is needed afterwards. When Hurricane Ian hit, that was I think the end of late September of 2022, and that was a huge disaster there in Fort Myers, Florida, and then it flooded most of Florida. So I went, my first op there was in October 22 and I went to Daytona Beach and Fort Meade cleaning up um, houses, muckouts, and tree debris in, in parks. For her efforts, everyone who watches Sunday's NASCAR Cup Series championship race will see Kathy's name painted alongside those of the other veterans on the number three car driven by Austin Dillon. Kathy couldn't believe when she got the news. At first I thought that was a joke when I got the email because I don't follow NASCAR to be honest with you. I don't know anything about it other than it's race car going around. After realizing it was real, she was honored to be making a difference. Oh God, no, it's never about me. It's about helping others, especially those who are less fortunate. In Amarillo, I'm Jose Alcala, ABC7 News.